taking a look at another Campbell Scientific sampler for wastewater. Let's set up for a wastewater effluent sampling point. We have a flow meter which is providing sample initiation. Again, this is its 4300C. This particular unit is set up with a glass stainless steel fridge and a 20 liter Nalgene container. 500 milliliter sample chamber right here. And we can see the controller. This is also set up with the heater. We're going to go ahead and take a uh, manual sample here. And now we're pre purging the line. You can see it's bubbling up here. And we're back over. Now we've made the purge from the pre purge. We're going to take a first suction in. Now we're filling up the chamber all the way up to the rod and back down. Now we can see we've made our 100 milliliter sample, which is what this plant likes, and they're dropping it in there. The valve is now back open, it's lead, it's closed now, and it's purging. And we can see it bubbling back out again. Again, this purge time is, can be set to whatever you want, and we're done. And the manual sample is showing completed. So we're going to go ahead and restart our sample program. And it now shows the restarts complete. We have the sampler on and showing the internal battery is charging. This does have the battery backup in this particular unit. back here and review the remaining pulses and you can see that counting down we're at 62 pulses 60 left and that's again based upon the flow that we have here right now about 1100 gallons per minute this refrigerator is also set up with a digital display this particular unit just got started up so uh, we're going to work our way down where we need it to be Again, it's set up with a composite type bottle. Stainless steel front with a uh, see through glass door. I'm going to go back over and look at the remaining pulses. So we're down into uh, we the five pulses left. Now we're going to initiate off the flow. So we're down to remaining pulses. And one more time on the sample cycle, you hear the uh, air being purged up and out through the line, down the hose, and out in the tank below. Now we're drawing the sample back in, all the way up to the rod, and back down to our metering point, which is set by this center rod. Now purging. Make sure you have the right volume and dumping the sample into the container below. We're now in a post purge and we're blowing the air back out, making sure that there's no cross contamination. So I hope you enjoyed this look at the Campbell Scientific samplers. These are all set up the same way on the vacuum based samplers. So be sure to check out these rest of the Campbell Scientific samplers for vacuum-based sampling. It's simple, reliable sampling.